Tuesday, just like old times. I don't want it to be just like old times. Old times were... Oop. Is that my gun? No, I don't. Where are we heading? There it scary. is. Hold on. There. Good. You. you have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. I need a wall. There we go. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuary in front of me. But the important time. thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. That, uh... Doesn't sound too healthy there, GLaDOS. Kind of... Kind of wrong in a way. Uh, you're not into reanimating dead bodies. Unless you're making zombies. Uh, Sorry you're about a good the mess. Movie, I've really good. let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self test complete. Oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. Thanks which involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. I'll do. Or not. Uh, how do I go over there? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, it's just water. Alright. And... What did it be like? Ah, uh, Whoops. Wrong things. And let there Not be lasers. Bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Kind of good. She went a lot. So, yeah. Test me, uh... I don't want to re-say this, but uh, test may take a little bit longer than everyone else that did this game. Maybe it's that longer, maybe this next over. test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Uh, where? What corner are we talking about here? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Yeah, how does this thing work? Where's my... Take that. Where's the... Alright, right there. So what, if I just put it right, right here? The hole there. Nope. Nope. Are you kidding me? I can't put it like right in the middle. There we go, that works. Oh, I need a cube. Or do I? Yes, I do. Uh, are there a cube anywhere around here? I can do that. Take you. Ow, 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 ow. Go ahead and take you with me. Right, so. Well done. 
Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. Horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. What? We weren't even testing for that. Well. I must say I'm not a horrible person. Even though I always did say horrible in class. Horrible. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. <laughs> no. Holy crap. That was crazy. Hey, all right. Boom. All right, so what we got going on? I want to go through there first. Go ahead, bring you. Where am I bringing you? Over here. So, what? The door's open, I guess? And that laser needs to go. Yeah. And there. Uh, Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Are you saying I'm fat? Are you saying I'm fat? Wow. Well then. I'm gonna say I look good with a couple pounds in. Bam! One moment. You're navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Oh, shoot. Thank you, GLaDOS, for saving my life. Don't look at me. Ow. I would do that, wouldn't I? Jump. Ow. Ew. Laser, why you hurt me so bad? What uh What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Oh alright, alright, I see I see what I gotta do now. And cancel. I have no idea where that cube went. Nope. Uh, all right, there. Hello. Go ahead. Put you right there. Yeah, I messed up on this part. So let's see. Where was it at? Like right here, I think. Somewhere right there. So now I just move. Bam. Like. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. That was, uh... Alright, I'll give you that one. That was, that was pretty slow. I messed up here and there. But what do you expect? I'm only human. I'm not a robot like you. Darn robot. Robot. Robocop thing. Robo gloves. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. And bam. Yeah, take that camera. What did I do? I gotta catch it, don't I? And bam. Nope. And go. Nicely done, me. Nicely done. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. 
It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Interesting how that would work. I'd be dead sooner or later. I'd be a bit dead sooner than later. That's what I meant to say. That is what I meant to say. Come on, let's go. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. What? Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Holy crap. Yeah, what is this? Oh shoot, please land on it. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Well, I messed that one up. Let's go ahead and... Let's retry that, shall we? I didn't really pay attention. Alright, that's time I got it. Dong. Oh shoot, land on it. And voila. What does this thing do? Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Wait, wait, wait. I need the I need the ball. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Hang on. Wait, where am I supposed to put this ball at? Down there? I just want to see if this ball will even work. And I'll put you... Alright. What happens if I just want again? I actually hit a cube down. Alright, no mind. Oh, whoops. No, the ball left. Take this radio. I got it. And... Nope. No bases for you. That doesn't work. There. Aha! Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. <gasps> and I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Well, that was you. 